Uh, another, just a quick round of applause for Abhishek who could be here. But the other short film that uh, that we saw and uh, we really liked uh, was a film from Australia directed by Don Percy. Uh, a film called The Makeover. Um, a really wonderful take on on something that everybody is very familiar with. And uh, I think the best way to introduce the film <laughs> is uh, to say that the winner of of this category was The Makeover. And I think we can see the film now. Don Percy, the director of this film, uh, on stage please. Don, are you here? such great films from the biggest film industry in the world. This festival reminds Melbourne that there is so much more to cinema than what comes from America uh, and to broaden our viewing habits and embrace world cinema. Uh, most of what I know of India is through film, the beautiful culture, the beautiful land, the beautiful stories, the beautiful dance and the beautiful music, the strong handsome men and the incredibly unbelievably beautiful women. Uh, for this award, many thanks to the IFF... Yeah. Uh, many thanks to the IFF, IFF team, Western Union, uh, the judges, uh, and you, of course, Bahut Dahanyubat. Thank you very much. Congratulations to our short film winners. Now, our next award is something a little bit different. It's uh, not about critics or a judging panel. It's an award by you, the audience. It's the Telstra People's Choice Award, awarded to the Indian film with the highest grossing box office in Australia. This is the film that you guys have voted for with your feet, with your popcorn with your smuggled in jalabis as you walk past the guy at Chatty that's checking the tickets. To present the Telstra People's Choice Award, please welcome Alistair Park from Telstra. Thank you everyone and uh, good evening. Uh, it truly is an honor uh, for me to be here tonight to present the Telstra People's Choice Award. Telstra's partnership with the Indian Film Festival of Melbourne uh, is in its second year now, and uh, we're very excited to see how the festival has grown in such a short period of time. Mitsu and the IFFM team uh, really have worked tirelessly to bring us uh, a wonderful celebration of South Asian film, and tonight is no exception. And, of course, with very special guests, Amitabh Bachan here. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. Uh, this is truly a memorable occasion for us all. Uh, Telstra is proud to be a premier sponsor of the festival, uh, which gives us a great platform to create some very special experiences and events for our customers and the wider community. The Telstra Bollywood Dance Competition is our signature event. It's a chance for people to dance in front of a huge audience that includes their friends, families and world-class judges. And this year we're thrilled to have uh, the producers of the blockbuster movie Doom 3 
and the wonderful Malaika Aurora Khan as our judges. So please come and support the dancers, come and see our celebrities. Uh, it's on this Sunday, May 4th, at the nearby Federation Square uh, from 3 p.m. and we really hope to see you all there. Here with me on stage tonight, uh, I'm Jared and Kausa Badluwala. They are lucky winners of an exciting Telstra VIP competition and they are joining me here to help present the Telstra People's Choice Award for 2013. Now for the award itself. The Telstra People's Choice Award is based on the film that has had the highest box office takings in 2013. Doom 3. The popular sequel to Doom was not only the highest grossing Indian film at the box office in Australia in 2013, taking over $1.7 million, but it was also the highest grossing Bollywood film ever, which is simply an amazing achievement. The film opened on December 20th, which uh, is one of the busiest periods of uh, the year for Australian cinema, and during that time, Doom 3 was the number one film Australia-wide, uh, ahead of Hollywood blockbusters like The Secret Life of Walter Mitty and <laughs> so Doom 3 was truly the people's choice of 2013 and it is my great pleasure to uh, welcome to the stage the producers of the film to collect their Telstra People's Choice Award. So please everyone put your hands together for Doom 3's writer-director Vijay Acharya and the Vice President of Yashraj Film, Aftar Kanesa. Meethulangi, 
and uh, she came into our lives around 2002 and released the first YRF film um, with uh, Satya. Um, since then, she's apart from bringing her madness to the business, uh, she's brought in a very, very important partner, um, and that's Hoyt Cinemas. Um, and I think that without their support for the last 10 or 12 years or so now, I don't think we would have reached here and have this magnificent um, event tonight. Uh, so may I just uh, take an opportunity to uh, invite Mark and Peter from Hoyt Cinemas on stage, and uh, please gentlemen come and take a bow. Right. And can I also ask Vidyu from uh, Mind Blowing Films uh, to join them? <laughs> Apart from these partners, um, I'd like to thank perhaps the most significant partner of all, and that's you, the audience. Um, I remember, <clears throat> yes, clap for yourself. I remember when we released Boom One here in um, Australia, it did about $15,000. Boom Three has now clocked more than $1.7 million. Um, so, a round of applause to you. Thank you so much. Lastly, thank you so much again for this wonderful honor. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're uh, very welcome uh, and grateful partners um, and uh, always looking forward to um, uh, sharing the successes of the festival. It comes around all too quickly, it feels, but um, uh, so much fun to be a part of and uh, we'd like to thank uh, everybody for um, their support of the festival and let's keep it uh, going to get bigger and better every year. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for the acknowledgement. It's been, uh, it's been a wonderful journey and, and one that we'd like to continue. Um, it's, it's, a, it's been such a success and, and uh, ever since uh, Mitsu had met us in, the, in our head office in Sydney, she has, uh, she's been as ever vibrant and uh, energetic about uh, Indian film in, in Australia particularly. Um, so thank you very much. It's a, it's a great honour. Thank you. Thank you, Avatar, for your kind words. Uh, just from mind blowing films, the, the partnership with uh, Yashraj Films and Lloyds is one we treasure and love. And uh, through that, we can hope to continue to bring more films to you and to Australia. Thank you all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if tonight were a Bollywood film, our dialogue to music ratio would be way off. So we need to have some spontaneous music. So it is my pleasure to introduce our next act. In fact, they are an embodiment of the Indian Film Festival itself because they are Melbourne based. They bring together East and West. They are, of course, Bombay Royale. Please make them welcome. Look upon it, pop it, pop it, plan upon it, should do to me. Ecti partaka, corona, eo bima. Misty color, dance yamai, she shumana nai kote, shunan no kanai.
very much, ladies and gentlemen. We are the Bombay Royale. And we'd now like to take you on a ride to the wild stallion mountain. John Malloy and I'm the co-director of the Indian Film Festival of Melbourne. So personally I'd like to thank you all very much for coming and being part of our festival this year. This year marks an important event in the festival's growth, which is our inaugural rewards. And I'd particularly like to thank Simi Garawal, who sits on our advisory panel, because last year she challenged us. She said, what are you going to do? How are you going to grow? and how is this going to get bigger and better for Melbourne. And as you know, I'm mildly terrified of Simi. I always want to please her. She's a strong taskmaster. So hopefully, Simi, you're enjoying tonight's uh, events. Um, as part of putting the awards together, we had to put together an international jury between Australia and India. 
On the, on the jury sat Philip Noyce, legendary Australian film director, and Jill Bilcock, who is an Academy Award nominated editor, who you would know her work from Moulin Rouge and Strictly Ballroom. Um, from India, we had Suwasini Mani Ratnam, who is, as you know, a famous South Indian actress, writer, producer, um, a force of nature. Uh, we had Rajkumar Harani, who has a long history with our festival, having come to Melbourne himself before. We had Rajiv Masand, one of India's most influential and important film critics, and we had Simi herself. So to all of our jury members, I want to thank you very much for being a part of this event. The awards you're thank you. Yeah. The awards that we're presenting tonight are designed by renowned Melbourne sculptor William Eicholtz. William recently travelled under an Arts Victoria grant to India to work with artists in Varanasi. And it's that kind of cultural engagement that we're so passionate about seeing fulfilled and as a part of the festival's agenda. So I want to thank William for his work, which he came on board and gave us all his goodwill. Um, there is a beautiful film called Lights Across the Sea, which will be hosted on the festival website, which shows William's experience in Varanasi. Um, without further ado, I would now like to introduce you to two of the judges from our jury panel. I give you Jill Bilcock and Rajiv Massad. Good evening. We had the unenviable job of actually choosing which film is better than the other, which performance is better than the other. It's always a hard job, especially in a year like this, um, when we've had some very fine performances and some very fine films from across the country. Um, these are not just Hindi films, of course, as you know, these are films from um, the length and breadth of India, some very fine films. The overall quality, I think Jill will agree, were, were, was, was very fine. Outstanding and very diverse. Outstanding and very diverse, it says. Um, it's also very exciting that, that the Indian Film Festival of Melbourne is a great opportunity to, to put out and to, and to present some of our best films from India to an Australian audience. Um, it's a great opportunity. And then to have someone like Mr. Bachchan here today, um, what better than that? cinema um, in Australia. I want to quickly say, you know, if we, we could have had one of those, we could have played one of those party games, those drinking games today, if every time um, someone mentioned Amitabh Bachchan on stage, yeah. if, had, if everyone had a sip of their scotch, we'd all go home very drunk tonight. <laughs> so thank you, Mr. Bachchan, and thank you. Um, let's now take a look at the nominees for the best indie film. Uh, you mentioned in your site that you actually took up photography after you lost your eyesight to an airborne uh, infection. Yes. 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 Why you don't? Uh, when I first started taking pictures, I was very much amused by the cat. This will be so good. 
my shabby appearance, I just came from the airport. I could use a makeover like that guy. <laughs> Uh, but thank you. Uh, it's wonderful seeing you, Mr. Bachchan. Yeah. I was thinking as I was walking here how I'm going to, going to factor Mr. Bachchan in, in so I can get the cheers as well. Uh, but thank you. This is a wonderful honor. I accept it on behalf of my lovely team, Irfan, Nawaz, Nimrat, and everyone who worked on the film. I wish they were here. Thank you to the festival and the jury. Thank you very much.
Chris Beam, Ted Bailu. The winner, of course, of Best Actress is the very popular, the very gifted, the very lovely Kangana Rana.